Hello Leo, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is your weekly tarot reading from the 30th of December 2019 to the 5th of January 2020. So we're crossing over into a new year, a new decade Leo. Powerful week. So I'm going to pull an overarching tarot card to see what the message is for you for the week. <clears throat> what do we have Angel Spirits Guides? For Leo, our lovely Leos. There's too many there. Just one card, please. Just one card. <clears throat> I'm still getting over this cold, Leo, so my voice isn't quite right. <clears throat> yes, we have the Six of Wands victory, Leo. So Six of Wands is a card of victory, and the victory is somebody who has overcome challenge, come through the other side, and discovered what they're capable of. Now this is Wands energy, it is fire energy, it is about when you channel your passions, when you really put the effort in, you can overcome anything. That is the message of the Six of Wands. And in the process, you discover your own power, you discover your own capabilities, when you really channel that power. This is also about the, the Six of Wands is also at the heart centre of the Tree of Life, something that the Tarot is structured around. <clears throat> and that is about where things have been challenging, you're coming through the other side of a situation, you're ready to open up to more, you're ready to receive more, um, even open your heart to new experiences now, on any level really. But uh, this is about just overcoming whatever challenged you in the past, coming through the other side and standing in your victory. Because again, this is a sign of your power, it's the victory crown. So a beautiful message, Leo. Maybe some of you have been through a challenge, hardship, but you see this person is just, they're doing the power pose as well, you know? They're doing the power pose because they discovered what they're made of. Yeah, I feel some of you may have had to heal. I mean, that we have healer of the ages here. That might resonate for some of you. Some of you have been healing from the past. Um, that wouldn't surprise me having overcome challenge. <clears throat> What else do we have, please, any Angel Spirits Guides? Oh, wow. Leo, we have the Daughter Spirit. Wow, this is spiritual awakenings and new beginnings. Let me just read the card for you. Number 32. <clears throat> spiritual awakenings and new beginnings. This door opens onto the expansive energetic realm where all new beginnings originate. The orb of light guides you through, guides you through the clouds of the earthly world, leading you to a deeper understanding of your eternal identity, the source of all true value and power. This door opens onto truly unlimited potential for the changes that happen here reach deep into the core of your being. Don't be surprised if you find yourself becoming more intuitive, more aware of spirit's presence. Now is the time to, uh, time to open to the unexpected guidance and inspiration of spirit and to the magic and power of your true identity. Isn't that beautiful? <clears throat> and obviously you're finding what you're made of because you've overcome challenge. Wow. And they do say the wands energy is very spiritual, it's very connected to spirit as well. Sorry, I have like glitter all over this tablecloth, but never mind. <laughs> okay, I'm going to pull an angel card, an angel answer card, before we get into the tarot cards. Angels, what is the message for Leo, please? Okay. Yeah, it's time to remain positive. 
You know, this is a big card really for me as a reader because the success or failure of a situation is determined on your approach. If you go in and approach something in a defeatist manner, the chances are you're not going to be successful. But if you go in with a can-do attitude, remain positive, there's every chance of success here. And I feel that's what the Angel Spirits Guides are telling you now. Connect to who you truly are, Leo. Your true essence. To overcome challenge. Understand that you can be the victor by tapping into the power that you have. So it is about that positive approach. Okay, so let's see what the cards have to say, Leo. <clears throat> So as usual, Leo, I pull five cards. First card is the past position, then the present position, challenge, advice from spirit, and outcome. So what do we have in the past position for Leo, please? Angel Spirits Guides. Past position for Leo, please. Yes, we have the King of Pentacles. You're being told know your worth. We'll come to that in a moment, Leo. So, present position for Leo. Two of Pentacles. Challenge. Seven of Cups. Advice from Spirit, Seven of Swords. And Outcome Leo, Nine of Wands. So Angel Spirits, guys, can I pull clarifiers for the cards on the table, please? Let's pull clarifiers for Leo for the cards on the table. Okay, well, yeah. Oh my goodness, yeah, we have the Ten of Pentacles, the Queen of Wands, and the King of Pentacles. It's a big message here, Leo. The Two of Pentacles. Yeah, clarified by the Empress. This makes sense. I'm going to pull one more, Leo. Page of Pentacles. Lots of Pentacles energy here. The Seven of Cups. Clarified by the Two of Swords. And the Hermit. The Seven of Swords, Leo. Ace of Cups. Now, I'm going to pull one more for that too. Three of Cups. Nine of Wands. Seven of Pentacles. This is the outcome. Let's pull one more. Yeah, Three of Swords. And bottom of the deck, Leo, we have the Four of 
wands. I don't normally do the bottom of the deck but I am doing this week for you because I just think it makes sense given the cards on the table. Okay so we have two kings of pentacles here. This is a card of Taurus. Now the king of pentacles can be a person offering you something so in the past you may have needed a loan, could be a bank manager, could be a relative, somebody who loans you money or gives you money in some way. Can also be offering you job, a job in some way, um, mortgage advice, all of this kind of thing, you know, that can be somebody. It's something to do with whatever you need to bring greater stability and security to your life. That's what the pentacles represent. So that can be our homes, our career, our money, our valued relationships, people who bring foundation to our lives that we rely on, but also our own self-esteem, self-worth. As an energy, the King of Pentacles lacks for nothing as an energy um, in terms of his practical abilities to bring success to his conscious reality, his material success. He understands how to harness his practical skills to bring monetary reward into his life, success in the career place. He is fully aware of his own self-worth and you're being asked to know your worth now and also know your own capabilities to bring success into your life because he is the height of his suit. So there's a big message here that you have the ability to be successful, to be an achiever like the King of Pentacles. So what is stopping you? He is methodical. He's not the fastest moving of the Kings. He's probably the slowest actually. This is about slowly but surely wins the race. Very much like the tortoise and the hare, you know? It is slow but steady progress. He's also a great problem solver very analytical as well into the detail. Whatever this is, you're being asked to adopt the energy of the King of Pentacles now. You're being asked to trust your own capabilities to bring success, security, wealth, stability into your life now. You have all the practical capabilities and know-how that you need, the earthly skills. And look, I mean look, when you take action, Leo, this is a card of Aries, the Queen of Wands. Again, there could be some opportunity in business between these this, you know, Taurus, Aries energy. There could be some opportunity offered to you, certainly in terms of money and career. As an energy, the Queen of Wands is about taking action. It is about fulfilling your passions, let your passions drive you now in all aspects of your life. But she is somebody who trusts her instincts. She has a primal survival instinct represented by that cat in the picture. She understands how to play to her strengths because she's fully aware of her weaknesses. And, you know, there's a big message, know your worth. You know, when you know yourself and you have self-knowing here and you're discovering what you're made of, you're discovering what you're capable of. You know, again, another sign of success here. Success can be, you know, achieved, accomplished. <coughs> it's a big card of taking action, knowing your power to bring success into your life, which is very much the Queen of Wands. And this is material success. This is success on every level. You know, we have the Ten of Pentacles. This is about monetary success, being paid what you deserve in business and career. Um, this can be about your own self-worth, your own value. You know, if you don't value yourself, if you don't give yourself worth, how do you expect other people to? And it is knowing your worth now in order to bring success into your life, material success. Because it's here, I feel, for some of you. 
I think some of you may have been striving towards this. Certainly in terms of money and career, these, these cards are very positive. This is about very much taking action, following your passions and fulfilling them. When you fulfill your passions, you fulfill what the Queen of, sorry, what the King of Pentacles is. Um, which is about bringing greater stability and success into your life. The Empress is a card of you lack for nothing again. She lacks for nothing. She has everything that she needs to give birth to the new because she obviously holds, she's pregnant, she holds new life within her. Um, and this is about giving new life to new projects, new business opportunities, new business ventures, new jobs. Um, could be to do with money as well, new financial investments, new loans that further you in terms of the career front. Whatever this is, the Empress is very much about money and also love aspects of your life. Telling you now that you lack for nothing and it is time to embrace the new. Be the co-creator of your life because there's a promise of something wonderful here but you have to make it happen which is why we've got earth energy here. It is about putting in the work, putting in the effort to start planting the seeds for future gro growth and um, reaping the rewards long term. The work that you're doing now, you can reap the rewards on Leo. That is the page of pentacles. This again could be embracing the new, new opportunities. Could be in money or career. Now, Page of Pentacles can be the beginnings of something new, can be the beginnings of change. So this can link to loan applications being approved, the green light on that, some good news coming through in finances in particular, uh, mortgages, loans, um, bonuses at work, uh, could be job opportunities, you know, coming. Uh, all of this kind of doing the work to further yourself so it might well be some of you are you know planning for the long term that is what the pentacles energy is planning and setting yourself up for the long term getting qualifications that you need to get professionally in order to get the level up in terms of responsibility and pay all of this kind of thing is the long term strategy now that you should adopt doing the work in terms of sending CVs out to get jobs you know this is what the page of pentacles is you know, the Empress is saying you lack for nothing, so it's a time to place value on yourself with these cards. And don't doubt that, Leo. Two of Pentacles is a card of imbalance. It is a card of if you're doing too many things at once, you're not going to get anywhere and you're not going to really feel the reward of it or the benefit of it. It is that methodical approach now, doing things step by step that's going to bring the greatest reward into your life. Focus, um, hard work, groundedness. Be aware of what is throwing you off balance in your life now. Understand, get to the bottom of situations that are throwing you off balance. You know, if you're struggling making decisions, make decisions from a more grounded perspective. So I feel for some of you, good things want to come into your life, but you have to be in a, in a more receptive, grounded energy in order to make them happen. Seven of Cups is choices. There are choices available to you. Now this is somebody who has, can be about daydreaming, can be about your hopes, dream, dreams, wishes, you know, hanging up there in the ether and it is up to you to make them real. Again, this is Venus energy, Venus in Scorpio. We had the Empress before, there's a promise of something around you, making your hopes, dreams and wishes a reality, but you have to make them happen. And this is about trusting your intuition. Very Queen of the Wands energy. Trust your instincts, trust your intuition to make wise choices now in order to really bring positive transformation in your life. And you're being told, Leo, what is throwing you off balance here? What is stopping you from moving forward? Because I feel for some of you, this is about shining a light on whatever is stopping you from moving forward. What is keeping you stuck? See, this person 
he's weighing up their options maybe to to understand what route they're going down or what decision they need to make or what goal they need to go for now um in order to make decisions or choices it is about trusting your intuition with the two of swords not allow that deceptive quality of the moon because this is the moon in libra to throw you off balance you're not going to find the answers in your external world with both of these cards the answers are within and you already have the answers within that's what the cards are telling you in order to really make choices in your life now to bring your hopes dreams and wishes to reality and that is very much the hermit card shine the light from within understand what is stopping you from moving forward what is stopping you from making decisions or choices what needs to be healed what needs to be released this is raising your own internal vibration from within in order to bring positive transformation in your external environment because these choices can have consequences there's karma associated with this so it is about choosing wisely by trusting your intuition now in order to bring positive transformation into your life it's not a time for you to hold yourself back it's not a time for you to self-sabotage you know we have both of these cards here which can be about holding yourself back self-sabotaging I feel Leo this is about just being open to receive good things in your life now that will bring you happiness now that could be in love this can be about self-love this is about finding emotional centeredness having gone through maybe emotional situations in the past this is about finding that new beginning for some of you by finding that emotional centeredness from within self-love even but this is about being open to unexpected offers opportunities as well it is a bit of a again it's about trusting your instincts in order to be open to receive now because this is the ace of cups that the page of cups holds it is about being open to receive good things that bring you joy and happiness in your life be it love or offers or invitations which could link to celebration and success but you see these people are celebrating because they're beginning to reap the rewards of their efforts you see there's a harvest there that's the celebration and it does tie in with this Leo whatever effort you're putting in and I do so with the Pentacles energy it is linked to the law of attraction as is the Empress what you put out to the universe you will get back so if you put negativity out to the universe you get that back if you work hard and really focus and stay determined and know your worth and remain positive that's what you get back and this is the beginnings of change the beginnings of reaping your reward so I feel some of you it is just being open to receive safe stay positive and it is move on from whatever whatever hurts gone on in the past it is time to move on from whatever that energy is this can be about the heartbreak card it can be about hurt I mean it is a general reading it can be about hurt in any aspect of your life you know we trust people at work we trust friends we trust wider family whatever this three of swords represents it was a truth that you needed to see and this is exposed to the elements Leo when a wound is exposed to the elements it starts to heal we have healer of the ages here we have the hermit here whatever this was you're healing from it and you're at that stage now where you have to evaluate what is worth spending your time and energy on and what's not worth spending your time and energy on this is that card of evaluation it's also that Saturnian test card it is all linked with your time where to focus your time in order to get the greatest reward and I feel for some of you with that Queen of Wands energy it is very much about trusting your instincts in order to really reap the rewards now and not waste your time with um, projects or people where you don't get something back from them again the Pentacles is linked to 
the law of attraction. What you put in, you should get back. And if you don't get that back, it is about that review and where you're wasting your time and energy now and where it needs to be refocused. Because you're so close to achievement. You're so close to getting to the goal that you want to get to now. This is not a time for doubt. Again, that moon energy. This is the moon in Sagittarius. That deceptive quality of the moon that can make us question and doubt ourselves, make our fears more magnified. It is not the time to question yourself. It's a time to persevere and push through because change is so close. Goal achievement is so close. Getting to where you need to be. There's milestones here to be had. The Four of Wands is a milestone, it's the Happy Home card. You might be working hard to protect your home, even protect your family. Um, you know, this is also about achievements, milestones in business and career. This can be celebration to do with engagement, marriage, even reaping the rewards, getting an offer through, you know, celebrating with people who matter in your life. Whatever this is, it says that you are rebringing some level of solidity and stability in your life. And I feel for some of you, it is about fulfilling the promise of what this King of Pentacles, the two King of Pentacles, is saying, know your worth. Because when you do, everything else follows. Powerful, powerful energy, Leo. Okay, angels, what is the message? Yeah, I mean, the Wish Wisely card, this is very much this. Trust your intuition to make clear choices now. Like I said, the answers aren't in your external world. They are in your intuition. Use your wishes wisely to manifest your heart's desire and take practical steps towards making your dreams come true. Yeah. Wow, we have divination. Embrace your powers of divination. Obviously, this is very specific for some of you, which are especially strong right now. You have the ability to see your current situation with crystal clear clarity. Yeah. And I think you do. I mean, we do have daughter spirit here. You know, some of you will have those psychic abilities. Some of you will. Um, it is also about trusting your instinct, which is that soul energy that guides us forward. It is the divine energy that speaks through us. That is our intuition. So I do feel there's an intuitive flavor to this as well. But nevertheless, there's positive transformation here, Leo. Know what you're worth, what you're capable of. And I feel everything else follows. Certainly in terms of money and career, there's real achievement to be had. There's real opportunity around you now. We can see that with the Seven of Cups. You have to make it happen. There's real promise. That's what the Empress says. You lack for nothing. So know that. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you, Leo. And I will see you next time. Thank you.